Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Thursday Talk Triple T. I'm Brian Wyatt. This is T Money. Changes here. Changes now. The, the Thursday, Thursday Talk. Talk. So, Tyler, man, hey, I know you've been battling some injuries, some aches and pains. And in this cold weather, I know everything aches and hurts a little bit more. There's snow on the ground. And you're just no days off, man. Like, what keeps you motivated? What's your why? What keeps you driven? I would say, uh, most definitely, my why is. I never want to get to that weak mindset again. That old person used to constantly make excuses about everything. Why life is too hard. Why I can't do this. I know I'm sick of that. Um, so no excuses. That's my why. And, and that's how I get things done is I don't make excuses. And, and that's how you're going to get things done. We all have that old person inside of us that tries to drag us down. And you just want to stand up and, 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 and face them face to face. Uh, and fight that battle with that old person trying to uh, trying to stop you from accomplishing your goals. Uh, tell them no excuses. We ain't making we ain't making excuses today. We ain't gonna think of all the reasons why we can't do this or that. We're gonna think why we can. A few few days ago, a gentleman came up to me and said, uh, "Hey, uh, Tyler, what what makes you think you can do all this?" Um, this is my answer to you. What makes me think I can do it is because I don't make excuses. I'm not thinking why I can't do something. I just go for it. If I fail, failure is part of success. Failure is the condiment that makes success taste so good, right? So I, it, when, when you don't make excuses, uh, when failure is, is just a part of the end goal, it doesn't matter if you fail, um, it's so powerful, and and I used to not have that mindset. So I want what I want to do is I want to bring everybody together and understand that uh, never make excuses. My mind tries to tell me when, before I wake up. Oh man, sleep in a couple. And this always affects me. I bring it up a lot because the the I'll, I'll, my mind try always tells me to to sleep in, and I had to I just. Face that that mindset, that person, whoever's inside of me trying to tell me to take the easy route, and I gotta tell them, and I face them, and I say no excuses. Uh, I'm not going. I'm not that. I'm not that person no more. And I get up, and I and I get things done. Um, Brian, I, what what I need from you is I need you to tell me. Uh, I need you to tell me. Tell me an excuse. Hey, the excuse is, is I don't want to go to work today. It's cold. Uh, there's ice on the ground, and, and it'd be easier to it'd be easier just to call in, and uh, and and I keep bringing up the weather and the elements and these conditions because uh, Monday I got I got stuck in my own head. I uh, it was I started making excuses with work, uh, with with my diet, and it's just it's uh like you said failure failure is is is, is part of success. That's right. And, and just because you fail or you fall short of something. Uh, hey, it doesn't mean it's over. It don't even mean you got to start back at square one. It's just time to dig your heels in and get going. So when we came up with this uh, topic a few days back, like it really just hit home because I was battling, I was struggling on Monday. Hey, we're just normal, we're just normal guys right here, man. But we, uh, there's just, there's just no quit. You have a slip up, uh, no excuse. Like dig in and let's roll. And um, so yeah, it's just, it's just part of it, but. Here's the thing is you can't, you just can't quit. You just can't, you can't ever lay down and, and take no for, for an answer. Uh, when, th when times get rough, when your mind wants to tell you, uh, take the easy route, um, you know, when, when, um, when something comes up and, and it just makes it easy, it's, it's, it's the easy way out, man. Like I, I'm tired of the easy way out. Like no excuse, dig in, uh, and having a, a great accountability partner right here. And, um, and there's a few other guys, um, that just surround yourself with like-minded people, man. And they lift you up and they keep, uh, they carry you. That, that's the huge, that's a big part of, of success is having like-minded people around, uh, and not getting caught in the crowd. Uh, so a passive crowd, uh, a go with the show. Um, Tyler's like, Tyler's one of the best accountability partners, man. He keeps me on my toes. He keeps me lifted. keeps me motivated. I get fired up every time we talk. And uh, he just, he just, it's so inspiring, man, to have you around. And I appreciate, I appreciate it, that, man. man. And um, I feel that I, and I absolutely feel the same. This guy, he said, uh, and, and, and I, I posted this, though, but he said, uh, 
he said, marathon ain't going to run itself. Cause you know, uh, on my injuries and stuff, I'm so far behind on this marathon training. And, and, uh, Brian said that dude, and it just, it just hyped me up, man. It's just, it just, what it, you find accountability partners. So go out right now and go find yourself accountability partner. Cause that's what it's all about. Um, it's going to bring you to that next level. And speaking of the next level, uh, what we're going to do, um, our next challenge, uh, cause we don't do stuff that's easy. We, we embrace the uncomfortable and constantly, uh, do things that are hard to develop this self-discipline and, uh, to develop that no excuse mindset. So starting Monday at 6 PM, we're going to do a 72 hour fast, no calories. So, um, we decided that we're going to do, uh, we're going to have caffeine and electrolytes, no calories at all for 72 hours. I'm going to get some ketosis strips and we're going to, we're just going to monitor and it's just going to be amazing experience. Um, so, uh, I want to mention shout outs to, uh, G Carrillo. Hey, he's hopping on. Uh, he's going to, he's, he's a beast at fasting. Uh, Luke Rabelais, one of my good friends. Love you, Luke. Um, he's hopping on. Hey, everybody, I just, I challenge you to, to do maybe a 24 hour fast, maybe a 16 hour fast, whatever it might be. It's, like I say, it's just one of those tools to start developing and stack those wins, baby. You got some people joining the ride, don't you? I do. I got a one shout out, Justin Hill. He's going to jump on. Hey, and this is just all about developing that mindset that can't be broken. So when those excuses try to creep in, you can overcome them. When life happens, you can overcome them. It's all about no excuses. It's all about building yourself up and everyone around you and, and, and being a, an asset, um, you know, being a, accountable to your word and to your people, to your friends, to your family. So let's just, um, yeah, it's time, 6 o'clock on Monday. Yes, baby, no excuses. Changes here? Changes now. No, no excuses. excuses.